Hi, it's Roberta with Quilt Crafters Corner. Today's block is called Border Block. So I want to show you this block. It will make a really interesting border for around your quilt. If you wanted to enlarge your quilt a little bit, this would be a great block to do it with. This block finishes out at 12 inches. It's 12 and a half unfinished. So that's what I have for you. Let me show you what this block looks like. Okay, here is the block here. And as you can see, it's all half square triangles. Oh, let me make a note. This is a original design by Marsha Hone from Quilters Cash. So respect the copyright on this. So here's the block and this is all half square triangles. So let's take a look at how this block goes together. It requires four different colors of fabric, mostly three darker and one light. So I've, for this, I've chosen a different print, just a little different. So you could get an idea of what this looks like, you know, made in a different type of style. So these are, I cut these four by eight. And I do that only because I like to trim up my half score triangles. So this one is four by eight. And then my second fabric is also four by eight. And then my last two fabrics are these here and I need to make eight of them. And these, this is four by 16. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this in half only because I don't like to deal with this long of a, a piece when I'm doing the speed, the speed sewing method on this. So I will cut this so that it's in half. Okay, so now I have two of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my lines. So you need to mark your center top and bottom. And then just from the bottom to your outside corner on the diagonal, you're going to draw a line. And what this is going to do, you're going to sew a scant quarter inch on each side, this side and this side. Now, what makes this method so quick is you really don't have to lift you know, change things, you, you start in the corner and you sew down and then you pivot and you sew up. You pivot again, you sew back down this way and then you pivot and sew back up this way. And then all of your seams are sewn and then you can just cut it apart. So. So I will mark all of my four by eight rectangles, and then I will take them to my machine and sew them. Right, I have my four by eight uh, rectangles sewn down both sides of the line and up the other. So what I will do is I will cut these in half first and I will have two squares. And now what I'll do is I will cut these in half again from point to point and that will make my four half square triangles. So there's one, there's two. Okay. 
There's three and four. Now these need to be taken over to the iron and pressed. So I will finish cutting these apart and then I will take them to the iron and press them. Okay, my half square triangles are all pressed and I pressed to the darker of the two fabrics. And what I need to do now is I need to trim these up to three and a half inches. So let's start trimming. I use my uh, 45 degree angle and I always, I use that in order to line this up on my seam and that way I know I'm going to get a nice square to my diagonal seam. And that just makes the pieces go together much nicer and much easier. It also trims off all those little points so that they're not in the way of the seam. It just reduces the bulk that's in the seam if you trim those off. All right, I have my half square triangles all squared up. So I will start laying these out to show you how this goes together. All right, there's the layout for the block. Now what I do is I sew these as four patches. I will sew these four together. I will sew these four together and then these four together and those four together. And then I put them together after that. It's just much easier to do it this way so that I don't get these long strips that aren't sewn correctly or straight. And this way I can check to make sure that they're six and a half inches. So let me do that. All right, there you have it. And there are the blocks. This is completely put together. I've sewed them as four patches and then I sewed these two together and then I sewed those two together and then I sewed them all together in one square. And if you do this correctly, 
you will be able to nest your seams everywhere here so that it'll just lie much flatter. You won't have big, you know, points that are that are bulky. So that's today's that's today's block. Today's block is called border block. And this is to make any quilt that you have bigger. So I want to thank you all for watching. I would love to hear your comments on this. Show me your blocks. I'd love to see pictures of your blocks. So subscribe down below and I will see you next time.